Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dwarf Fortress. Been playing off camera again, setting a few things up. Let me show you guys what I've done. First and foremost, we got another group of migrants. Luckily it was a smaller group, but it did bring somebody who's a little bit good at doctoring and somebody who's good at mechanics, which is nice. And everybody else at this point, I pretty much thrown into a squad. So we've got our squad down here. They're training currently. It's going to be my hammer dwarf squad. There's 10 of them. And they're going to be wearing um, metal armor with silver war hammers as soon as I get the silver war hammer set up. And they train on the off months that the sword squad's training, so they both kind of alternate. Meanwhile, the trader's all set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and set all of this to trade. <clears throat> Okay, so all goods are set up to trade. That gives us um, 70,000 profit. Okay, uh, allowed weight. Does it tell me what the weight is? Allowed weight. Okay, actually, we don't want to trade all of the. Yeah, you know what? I think we do want to trade everything that's here. Do we want to trade the finished good bins too? Probably don't want to trade that. Oh. That's what jumps it up to 70,000? What the hell is worth so much in here? Oh. We have an artifact in here that's worth 45. Yeah, we don't... We don't want to trade that. That could have been bad. Okay, so 22,000. That's fine. 22,000. We've got some copper picks in here. Copper long swords can definitely be sold. The copper picks I will keep for now. Because I need more miners. Everything else can be sold. That's not me keeping them. That's me selling them. Okay. Copper crossbow. I'm going to. I don't have any intentions of making a crossbow person for a bit. A crossbow squad. I might not even do it at all. We'll keep those picks. All the gems can go. Finished goods can go. These splints can go. That's fine. All the iron bolts here. The leather. The rings. The quivers. Yep. Everything else here is good. So that's 22,000. We might not even end up doing uh, all of this. And then all the thrones and the tables, which is so fantastic. We're finally getting rid of all that. All right, let's buy silver bars, because why not? Um, we're going to buy these. Let's see, we don't want to buy, we can miss coal, but we can't buy the blocks. I don't think can be burned once they're turned into blocks. We'll pick up a couple glass, so we have it for strange moods. Ropes we don't need. We'll pick up some water skins. For our squad. Same with flasks. Oh no, 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 no. These are worth a lot. You know what? I'll just make some. I'll just make some flasks. I can make some gold flasks or silver flask or cost uh, silver to actually work really good. So I'll just make that. Um, okay, beer barrel. Cow's milk. More beer, river spirits. That's all they brought for alcohol, huh? Bunch of other crap will just glaze over for now. I'll grab up, uh, no, we should have cloth and leather. We should be fine. This is all leather and cloth. We're not going to have anything to trade to the dwarves when they come, though. And they're going to have more stuff that we want. So we got to keep that in mind. We will grab an anvil. Because we're going to need it. And then all of this food. Wow, 
want all of this. So we're just going to end up taking a bunch of stuff off anyways. So that we can have stuff to trade when the dwarves show up. Thought there was a trick to this. I don't know. I don't remember now. And then, <clears throat> how much does that put us at? Trade a profit, 20,000. <laughs> I think we picked up, uh, we ticked off the dwarves last time they showed up. So they might not even want to trade with me when they get here. All right, well, we won't worry about backpacks, quivers, anything like that. I can make all my own stuff for that. Or we'll just buy it off the dwarves. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, half this crap can't even go. Let me just get rid of all the tables and thrones and everything else below that. Uh, we won't get rid of. So can I remark all this? Selecting all so I can't unmark it. I can only mark it. All right, so get rid of that. I'll keep the leather bin. We're keeping that finished goods bin. I do want to get rid of all of these weapons if I can. We'll keep this finished goods bin. Something in here is worth a lot. Must be another artifact. Yeah, right here. I got to be careful. We need to find a safe place to put those. Or I'm going to be trading them away. See, I think that's what that is too. That's a little better. I'll get rid of all this king. Well, we'll keep this stuff. The stuff that's easy to store, we'll keep. For when the dwarves come. I just don't want to... Because then that can all be sold then. I just don't want to sell... Um, I don't want to keep the... We'll keep that gem bin. I don't want to keep any of the freaking... So I guess... I don't know. I don't want to keep the tables is what I'm trying to say. Because they're not, they're completely worthless to us. This crap all has to go. The dwarves will probably take it. Oh, they probably would take it. The chess I'll keep. Okay, what's that a profit of? Trade a profit, 2,000. That's actually probably appropriate. So let's try to trade that. Ah, wonderful. Thank you for your business. Yeah, so I felt that was appropriate. All right, nice. All done. And we don't need our broker there anymore. He can go ahead and start hauling. What is that there? Flooring never got done right there? Or what the hell happened? All right, so the swords guys are training, which means the dwarf guy, the hammer guys should not be, and they're not. So that's good. Everything is working according to plan. I'm going to have to send my squads down here to fight these guys off, I think. This is still getting done. It's just taken a hell of a lot of time. I've mined more granite out, right? Jesus, what keeps happening here? Crundles. They keep making it up here and fighting with people. All right, this is where all the granite's coming from. I strip mined all of this. There's plenty of granite here to get done what we need to get done. But I see the crundles have come into here. They're not giving anybody a hard time, though. They're just walking around, and that dwarf wasn't afraid of them, so. We seem to be fine. Fancy Sheep went into a mood, and now he's constructing something. I forgot to mention that. He took over the craft door shop. He's just a child dwarf, so we'll see what he makes. Probably a toy or something. It's usually always a toy. And I've also dug out more bedrooms back here. We're Really hurting on bedrooms. I haven't decided yet what I want to do the flooring down here out of. Um, I was almost thinking a micro line instead of gabbro. 
Because then I was thinking, I was like, I'll just go over the Gabbro floor because there's really not enough of it. But all the walls can be Gabbro. So Gabbro micro line. I think I think the micro line looks good in the dining room. It's a cool look. I think it looked cool in the bedrooms. Um, Gabbro line with or micro line with copper. There's also a lot of granite, and I can make granite blocks, and I could use up all of these rock salt blocks and porcelain blocks that we have going on. Nobody making clay bricks though. But granite and rock salt are probably pretty similar in properties. What do we have a lot of in here? Diorite, phyllite. Then there's that granite. Microline. Yeah, microline probably wouldn't be bad. It'd probably look really cool. The whole floor would be blue with this black. Be like that light blue with the black. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do microline. Oh, I like I like this though too, Kimberlite, but maybe not for every room. Well, no, it probably look good. It looks good there, but huh, finding Kimberlite that's the trick. I don't think we have a lot of Kimberlite. It's not really that popular. Microline is. All right, why don't we make microline blocks? Claimed uh, wooden, whoa, a wood amulet actually, okay. Well, we'll take a look and see if it's worth anything. Ninety thousand, holy crap. That is nuts. Congratulations on making that. Jesus. All right, that grate's got to go here, the copper grate. We got to find a special place to put those artifacts. Because you could do display furniture. You can make display cases and stuff to display them in. We'll find a neat place to put our artifacts. I'll think about where I want to put them. Think of the dining room or maybe some, some hallway or something where they can be seen all the time. Because dwarves get positive moods when they, when they see those. So that's usually the best way to do it. All right, we're going to put a copper grate there. So water can pass through. And then once that's up, we'll build the wall and we'll get the well going. I'll actually go ahead and construct the well now. Maybe. Needs chain. Okay, I need a chain. Uh, I thought I had a chain. I must have sold it. make two copper chains so we have one on hand. I got to make more gold anyways for the dining room. So what hallway would I put the artifacts in? Really no good place for them. Could put them down here, circling the bedroom area, just start making display cases across here. Then as they head down the stairs to their different rooms, they'll come across them. It's probably not a bad idea. I might set up another workshop too, another stone workshop. So, cause I'm making what, Gabbro blocks right now? And I wanna make microline blocks too, so I wanna be alternating them. And if I set up another stone workshop to do that, It'll work. What I actually planned on doing was once I get the smelting, the magma forge downstairs done, I was going to put uh, mason shops in here to make more blocks. And turn it into one big block area. And then I was debating whether or not I wanted to do walls in here to make it like really nice instead of it just being... 
I think I'm gonna do that. Oop. Instead of it just being, uh, okay, the copper grate's done. Instead of just being a place where water is, that'll that'll help it there. We'll go ahead and do Gabbro there, since the grate's now there. We're almost all set in terms of having our well set up. I could throw up a temporary shot workshop for microline and then I just move it later. Probably should. Let's do another Mason's workshop. We'll just throw it up like right like none like this this isn't really getting used. So we'll just go ahead and do a Mason's workshop here. We'll do it out of porcelain bricks. That's fine. Somebody will set that up. Then somebody will get to work on making micro line blocks. We'll make a lot of micro line blocks. I've got space for more coffins and I've got more dead dwarfs. So this needs to happen now. Which means I need to build walls down here. And we'll leave a two space distance between it. How big are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's do, what are we gonna do this whole area up out of? Do I wanna stick with Gabbro blocks? Do I wanna do it out of micro line? Granite, the whole area should be granite. Okay, see, that's the problem. So I'm gonna want granite blocks then. We need another Mason's workshop. Another temporary Mason's Workshop. No. Oh, damn, that's your bl it's blocked if you do it like that, isn't it? No, they can move diagonally. That's right, they can move diagonally. All right, so we're gonna set this up to construct rock blocks, but they are going to be micro line. And then we're gonna have this, when it's done, construct granite rock blocks. We'll be pretty busy. Now, I thought rock blocks could be put in bins, but obviously not, or I just don't have enough bins. What's in these bins? These are empty bins right here. And they're not putting blocks in them. So either people just aren't getting them stored or these are armor and weapon bins, bar slash block. No, see, they, they do go in there. I'm gonna have some more block um, wooden bins made. We'll make 20 more. I wanna make sure our blocks are being stored. Copper chain, the breastplates. Smelting tetrahedrite or making more charcoal. Yeah, I want to get those bins up. The micro line blocks is getting done and then we'll go ahead and do a workshop here. Micro line, we got Gabbro micro line. Now we need granite. There we go. Yeah, so what I'll end up doing, guys, is I'll end up, when I get the Magma Forge up, I'll end up taking both of these down. We'll move all of the ores downstairs, and this will be a gigantic stockpile here um, for different stones. All of the ores are going to move downstairs, and then I will build probably three mason workshops across here. Or I'll either extend the stockpile down this way, I'll do a hallway, and then I'll build my mason um workshops here and all these mason I'll build four mason workshops and they'll just be set up to do blocks to keep construction moving
Probably kind of a little crazy for me to be doing this. But I am a man of... A man of design. I like these things to look nice. And rock salt. We could do rock salt blocks. We could do gabbro. Let's do gabbro. All through here. Oh, you know what? I can't do these ones just yet. Because those corner ones have to get done. Can I mine this out without, like, running into water? Yeah. Like I said, this is kind of silly, but... I just like my aqueducts. I won't worry about the ground. Because, obviously... Obviously, that doesn't matter because there'll be water all on it. But the rest of it, I just like to look good. And then this here, and then I'll smooth the uh, rest of it, I guess. Because once this fills with water, I will never get in here again. Right? No. I'll go ahead and do rock salt here. Because it's going to match what's there already. It's going to be a sharp looking well. already hard at work getting it set up and I do have people making these blocks which is good and we do have some coffins I see but no way to do it till I can mess with this up here I need to get all my food and stuff uh, brought out too do I need more space yeah, it looks like I kind of do. Well, I can keep expanding up into here, I guess. Drink's not as important. I probably need more pots too. I'm actually going to do barrels. Since we've got lots of wood right now and we're using the rocks for constructing. All right, let's go ahead and get this done. I should go ahead and get my corners done now, too. Okay, now we're just waiting for more Gabra blocks. There's so much happening all at once. I want to see him start using these bins here to get all of this done. How are we looking down here? These walls never got finished. Need to get those done.
It's always a pain to try and build a floor like this. And that stuff over there hasn't gotten smoothed yet, but that guy's pretty busy, so I won't rag on him too much. It's like the one thing he's doing. Do I need to mine some more granite here? Nah, we got a pretty good amount. Good amount of granite and micro line. Mine a little bit out here anyways. No doors, so I can't put doors on any of that. Yeah, once we get the granite blocks, it won't be as bad. Oh my God, they literally built these other ones. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. So I have to have them remove that construction now. I never should have done it like that. They always build the outsides before they build the corners. Max wheelbarrow 10. Can we change that to 20? Not sure if we have more wheelbarrows around. We can make more though. If we need to. You know what? Actually, I got an idea. We're going to change this to five. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to make a stockpile down here for granite. And assign some wheels, wheelbarrows to it. It's just going to be just a granite stockpile. For now. Just till we get this done. So. Let's see. Enable that. Block all. And then turn just granite on. There we go. And Max Weirbell will do five here. We'll keep track and see how that works. Okay, Gabriel blocks are coming in quick, so I should have this done soon. And I need to extend this stockpile. This is just a food stockpile. You can't unfortunately actually extend stockpiles, which really sucks. But you can make them, and the only thing that doesn't go here is seeds and drinks. There we go. They should get to hauling the rest of that food up at the uh, up at the trade depot down. Everybody is busy, and I can't make any more golden tables, right? Ooh, actually, I can. I better start. I better craft my war hammers just in case. Let's go ahead and craft our silver war hammers. We need ten of those. Now, do we have bars of silver? I think we do. But just in case, we're going to cancel that and start melting native silver for a bit. So that can get done. All right, and I'm going to cut it off here since we're out of time. I'll go ahead and continue doing some stuff off camera and getting this all set up. And then we'll come back and see what I've done. Hopefully, we'll have some magma forges up next episode or at least ready to set them up. And... Uh, 
After that, we're going to probably fill this whole area. And I'll probably put all sorts of just metal ores down here. All of our charcoal will go down here, stuff like that. Probably what I'll end up doing. So this will end up being our big crafting area for making metal stuff. It, they have a hall to bring it upstairs, but that's okay. Um, they'll get over it. <laughs> so with that being said, thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.